G'day fellow miners and welcome to uh, episode one in my Feed the Beast series from the Hypermine server with the uh, Hypermine version 2 map. Um, this series is going to be a kind of more or less a world tour style um, series. As you can see, I am kind of set up at the moment with a small base, little place to sleep. Um, oop, I don't really need to do that. A um, couple of little spots for crops, etc. A bit of machinery, a little bit of machinery. Um, a power supply, which is this lava tank. Um, we'll go more in depth into this stuff another time. Um, oop, wait. Oh, hey, oh. hello cow. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is my little temporary setup. Um, just until I get my real base set up, which again, I'll just talk about the plans for that probably either later in this episode or in another episode. It's raining because Notch hates Christmas. Um, the Hypermind server is... Uh, well, it's a whitelisted server, blah, blah, blah. This is the um, where I did my Road to Nuclear Power series from. Um, not this map, but another map. Uh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. Oh. No, go away, creepers. Um, is the zombie following me? Nope. I am wearing... Uh, modular power armor which I have pretty much upgraded uh, and using a power tool as my tool of choice uh, I won't go too much into the details of that e either because I plan on doing a, a kind of tutorial series on the power armor what I'm going to talk about today is the the general community area for the server which this is kind of the Epicent Ooh, Ruby just blew up. Ruby's uh, Ruby Zone is um, one of the new guys uh, that has been added to the server in, in the last couple of weeks. But anyway, back to the little tour. Basically what we have so far is a couple of community projects. This is um, Slipgator's uh, what he's calling the CPU, the Community Processing Unit. It has a macerator, uh, an electric furnace, a compressor, and an extractor. Um, and he is going to be overclocking the living crap out of these things so that they're super fast. Neat little building. I love the touches that he's used to... to um, the, like the decor, the, the cobble fence, windows, and so forth. Um, that this is the what they, what's been dubbed the bunkhouse. This was built by Zildjian. Um, he is yet to finish it, as you can see. This is essentially like the central point for everyone to to uh, have their spawn set to, basically. Um, and there's a bunch of you know community stuff in here, enchanting table, a few, a couple of. Well, this is a charging station for people with jetpacks, etc. Uh, a couple of machines over here, a carpenter, and there was a, another machine here, but I stole it. There goes Ruby, back to his death. Uh, a little macerator there. Oh, somebody's using that. It's run out of power. It's because it's connected to a generator that's empty. And then up a little bit further. Oh, go, go, end man. Up a little bit further is the. This is called the House of MJ. This is my community project. Um, this is a Zycraft lava tank which is similar to the one I use in my base. And it is connected to some liquiduct which is uh, the fluid pipe from um, 
the thermal expansion mod really good stuff I love it um, connected some magmatic engines again from thermal expansion which are in turn connected to uh, redstone energy conduit and these redstone energy cells uh, again thermal expansion stuff and then I've got a bunch of MJ powered machines this is a um, this is a, a setup that allows you to create these redstone energy conduits and redstone energy cells and also there's another magma crucible and liquid transposer here which could be probably be used to make tesseracts so this one you know you put redstone in here it, it turns it into molten redstone then you put the uh, um, you put the empty conduit or the empty um, energy cell frames into the liquid transposers and this this gets filled up by this and, and then it in turn fills up the various components this is a little setup that will actually make the hardened glass so you would put um, you'd put obsidian in here and then uh, lead ore in here or lead ingots in here and it will create uh, hardened glass which is what which is uh, if we look at hardened glass which is here as you can see it's created and it's part of the um, the requirements to make a few of the uh, well there's the energy cell frame energy conduit that's a liquiduct and the tesseract frame so that's that's that that's the MJ house or the house of MJ if we go further down here you might have seen this set up in uh, the armor abilities in Zuljan's uh, base jumping video where you can like pretty much fly about under power this is the community farm area and the community village with its lovely backwards hypermine sign it's only backwards because I'm looking at it from the back um, this is all thanks to pretty much all of this is thanks to um, another new guy on the server lone wolf he uh, he set all this up um, all the animal the various animal farms the massive crops as a, like a, a starting point for everybody to get you know food and this huge field of flax string I brought this stuff out of the nether and uh, Ruby transplanted it I mean uh, one uh, lone wolf transplanted it down here it was up that end but uh, it kind of didn't fit so that this is uh, an excellent job by lone wolf you put these uh, rubber tree farms down as well or rubber resin farms down he was growing trees and taking the the resin bearing logs and putting them in stacks poor little destroyed house this used to have a zombie villager in it that was going to get treated but obviously something's happened there so yeah this spawn villager we have this kind of um, ghetto villager breeding machine up here um, <clears throat> to give us some villagers for um, Ooh, somebody's put a yellow light in that house. This is UK's place, I think. Oh, yep. Yeah. Wonder why he bothered with power. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's the server's community area. Um, there is a couple of other things that have been built. Uh, this portal house here, which is slightly unfinished, uh, is one of my builds. I'm fairly happy with it. I, I think it looks pretty cool. It's based around a decor used by One Wolf in the previous map, the previous Hypermine map. Come on, come on, you can do it. Uh, using arcane levitators to get you to the second level, um, and then we have a not quite completed Ender Farm. This has been set to kill mode so that it just fills this chest here 
Um, this again, this is built by uh, Lone Wolf. This is standard vanilla style uh, Ender killing farm with the spawning platforms with um, pressure pads on them and push out pistons. Just the regular stuff. Um, we st what is that noise? That was weird. I've never heard that noise before. Anyway, uh, we haven't killed the Ender Dragon yet. We just um, uh, Lone Wolf just bridged out uh, from the uh, main island and as you can see there's these weird islands off in the distance which are called uh, end meteors it's another another mod um, yeah he just bridged off from the arm um, from the main island so if we go into here uh, yep, there's the dragon still alive hello what are you up to oh, I know terrible um, Ooh. So that's pretty much that. Uh, I might get out of here and we will go to the nether and oh, wait for a bit of latency to go past. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Uh, this is my nether pump house. So it's basically just a pump with a magnetic engine connected to it to keep it powered and then it, it's uh, connected to an ender tank which is a new addition to the ender storage mod and in the other end in my base there's another ender tank uh, as you can see it's sucking up lava quite uh, enthusiastically if we fly out this way um, oh, oh I might Turn off night vision. Come on, die. Hey. Oh, yes. A tear. Very nice. A tear. If we fly out this. Now, where was my. It's there. I'm pretty sure if I go out this way. Oh. Uh, I think. Yeah, so there's this massive lava sea here. Whoa, don't get too close. Massive lava sea with a with a pretty much a solid roof above it. This is going to be where is this bat trying to fly up to me. It is too. Die. Um, this is where my base is going to be. I'm going to kind of have it f either floating or like low to the lava and kind of with uprights coming out of the lava I'm not entirely sure um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna have it here above this ocean of lava uh, basically the idea being I might need to clear out some land to make you know make it look pretty cool or maybe not I maybe I'll just leave it um, basically the idea being that Zuljan is building like a cloud a cloud city which is akin to heaven I am gonna build the uh, antipodes, if you will, of Zuljan's base, uh, and there is a few little requirements. Uh, don't, it, just ignore these uh, waypoints because they don't. The waypoint system doesn't quite work between realms, so the overworld waypoints appear in the nether and the end and any I think pretty much any uh, any dimension I just this is where I've got found iridium down there that I've marked and haven't picked it up until I can silk touch it and then I got a waypoint to a crazy volcano um, <clears throat> so I might do a little bit of preparation and because I want to do a couple of tests and I will come back and then we'll go into the nether and we'll do a couple of tests. So I will be right back. 
Okay, so we are back here in the nether. Um, and what I wanted to have a bit of a check on first before I really start to commit to uh, building in the nether is... Uh, I'm not going to be able to power this, am I? Maybe if I pop it here. There we go. And then I th think... I think I can maybe, yeah, fill it with buckets this way. Oh, what's it making? Oh, it's making snowballs. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of them. <laughs> Whee. Uh, all right, so we want to make some ice. Now, um, I do plan on using, to some extent, at least early on, um, the Red Power item transport system. Uh, there is a completely new mod in this pack. Uh, it is called... I can never remember. Applied Energistics, and basically, what's that thing? Quartz cutting knife. Okay. Uh, basically, it is kind of like a huge automatic storage system. But to begin with, I would like to actually use. Um, time for you to die, Miss Pigman. And I start a pig war. Hello, bat. Um, I would like to use the red power like system until I kind of get fairly au fait. So what I want to have is um, put my night vision on so it's a bit easier to see in here. Is a thermo pile, and then next to the thermo pile, um, a deployer, which will basically have timer on it and I'm hoping yes it will only deploy one block of ice because you can't have water in the nether of course um, there is one other thing I want to try so if we break this we get nothing and then this should automatically replace it so this is a, a way of keeping ice next to a thermo pile uh, because the thermo pile will actually melt the ice the other thing that I probably need is, because I'll need lava underneath, uh, underneath the thermo pile. Wow, this thing is just out of control. So what I will do to do to get that is, I wonder if I can extract lava from the tank. I can. Excellent. So I'll have flowing lava underneath the thermo pile. This will now be generated. This will now be generating power. I can't, I've got no way of monitoring it because I didn't make a battery. But what will happen is there's a chance that this lava underneath will get turned to basalt and there's a chance that this ice will melt. So what I need to do is I need to have uh, probably have a rock breaker or a block breaker. There we go. We saw that that ice melted and then because this will have a timer pump uh, pulsing it it should hopefully replace the ice and then I'll have uh, glacial precipitators these fellows here connected to aqueous accumulators um, which hopefully will be enough to keep them topped up as you can see the ice is disappearing really rapidly it's actually probably because the lava is uncovered but anyway, yeah, so this should automatically, if this is just flicking on and off all the time, when that ice melts, we might force it to melt. So we'll use our gravity gun. Get away. Um, so this, if this is constantly flicking on and off, when that ice melts, it should just 
I got ice left in there yet. I should just um, automatically replace it. Come on. You can melt any time you like. Typical. It'll probably never melt now. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so it just automatically replaces the ice and... Um, what happens if the power is always on it? Okay, nothing. Till I do that. Yeah, so it'll just uh, automatically replace the ice as it melts and it, if this turns to basalt, um, there'll be a rock breaker that's getting a pulse or a block breaker that's getting a pulse that will will uh, remove the basalt and I'll pipe that somewhere else using um, red power pipes as well. So that's one of the basics that I wanted to look at to make sure you know that it would work. There is another small issue with building in the nether and this could I'm not sure if this could work with this I'll, I will try it with this but in in uh, Zycraft, there is now a new block called a Zycorium water block, which is, we might go back to home, I think I have some engineering blocks still, Ooh, got a little bit of lag, I'll need water in a bucket, just wait for this lag to clear up from teleporting, I don't always get I don't always get this lag. I'm not sure. It's dependent on the time of day, I think. There we go. Um, I don't always get this lag after I teleport, and it's kind of mildly annoying. Um, what was I looking for? People. Uh, I was looking for some water. My Ah, oh, there we go. Zycorium engineering blocks. Alright, so basically it is four of those, four smooth stone and a bucket of water in the middle and what that essentially does why didn't I pick that up? huh can't shift click stuff oh, it's only one, I need more than one do, do, do. you can see there's I've got like about 20 different Was that like a ghost block or something? That's weird. Anyway, you can see I've got like 20 different things on the go at the moment. Uh, nope. Like this. Um, it, hmm. Oh, it has to be blue engineering blocks. Okay, so we'll have to make some blue engineering blocks. And they are made with redstone, smooth stone. Ugh. I'm going to put this in here. Uh, the red engineering blocks must be for... I think there's a few different elements, a few different types of these Zycorian blocks. So we need redstone, four redstone. Actually, is it, does it make just one engineering block? No, it makes four, so we need one redstone. We need some of this. I might make this... Do I already have blue? I might, uh, I might sort this out and come back. So I will be right back. Okay, so we've got our blue Zycorium bricks, uh, or blue Zycordite. We need to put, and then yes, we get our blue engineering block, and then we place our blue engineering block in here like this, and we get two Zycorium water. Now, essentially, what Zycorium water does is it's a block that you can place down and it acts like water so it will so if we get if 
we get um, some soil, a few pieces of soil, let's get eight. And we get our Thorm, Thorm home, Thorm, Thormy, Thorm, whatever, hoe of growth. And then we go into our room over here, make it a little bit bigger. And we lay down our our soil and if we till it it won't stay tilled because it's dry here in the nether but if we place zycorium water I believe that should hydrate this uh, this tilled ground so that we can grow stuff and it should nope Nope, it's not working. Does that need a redstone signal, perhaps? Huh doesn't seem to be hydrating it, does it? Right, I might have to look into this a bit more. But uh, I think I might call it there, though. Um, as you can see, I've got aura available to me here in the nether. But I think I might call the episode there, guys. I'll have a bit more of a research into these um, Zycorium water blocks. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to act like water, but they don't seem to be. Uh, it could be maybe, ooh, it could be maybe something to do with the fact that I'm in the nether too, that it, they may not function in the nether, but I will check it out um, and figure something out because I'm going to need crops in the nether um, for, you know, for various supplies. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this new series. I hope you uh, follow me on my adventures through Hypermind 2.0. Don't forget to uh, like and comment if you have any questions. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter um, if you want to get the most up-to-date um, information about my videos. And also on the Hypermind Reddit, uh, subreddit, which was started by Bodog and Rubysone. Um, check that out. Links in the description. Thank you for watching guys and keep on digging.